Ever notice those really tiny animals crawling and flying and buzzing around? They're called insects or bugs. Insects are small animals with six legs, three body parts, and a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton. They often have antenna and wings. Let's take a look at 10 bugs that might be living in your backyard. One, butterfly. Butterflies are one of the most beautiful insects we find in our garden. Butterflies have four brightly colored wings made up of tiny scales. Butterflies use their gorgeous wings to fly from flower to flower, but they don't fly in a straight line. We call this fluttering. In fact, we call a group of butterflies a flutter. Butterflies like to eat the nectar from flowers and have taste receptors on their feet. Two, moth. Moths may look similar to butterflies, but they are different. They tend to have dull colors and are usually smaller than butterflies. But here's a giant moth. Yikes! Moths are usually active during the night, while butterflies are active during the day. Moths' bodies are thicker than butterflies, and when resting, they spread their wings at their sides. Butterflies rest their wings together and upright. Still can't tell the difference? Look at their antenna! Moth antenna are usually feathery, while butterfly antenna are straight with a bump at the end. Three, caterpillar. Caterpillars aren't one kind of insect. It's a life stage of certain insects like moths and butterflies. These bugs start as eggs, then hatch into a caterpillar, which crawls around eating a lot. Each time they get bigger, they molt and shed their skin. When they're nice and big, they wrap themselves up in a soft cocoon if they're a moth caterpillar or a hard chrysalis if they're a butterfly caterpillar. After a couple of weeks, they then emerge as a beautiful moth or butterfly with wings. Most caterpillars are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. Caterpillars eat differently than adult butterflies and moths. A caterpillar eats plants with its mouth. Butterflies and moths use their long straw-like tongues to drink nectar out of flowers. Four, bees. Bees live in hives and make honey. A single hive can have up to 80,000 bees. All hives have a female leader known as the queen bee. The queen bee is recognized by her larger size. Worker bees collect nectar and pollen from flowers and bring it back to the hive as food for the queen bee, workers, and baby bees, also known as larvae. Bees make honey by chewing up nectar and spitting it out into the honeycomb. Then they dry it out by waving their wings. When a worker bee finds new plants to gather nectar from, it alerts other bees by doing a waggle dance. Five, ladybug. Ladybugs are a type of beetle. Ladybugs are not just female bugs. They can be male too. Some ladybugs have black spots on their backs while others don't. Ladybugs got the name ladybug because in Europe during the Middle Ages, farmers realized that ladybugs saved their crops by eating aphids and mites, small bugs known to eat the farmer's plants. Farmers were so thankful for the ladybugs, they began to call them the beetles of our lady. And after that, it was shortened to ladybug. Six, praying mantis. Another insect that is welcomed by farmers is the praying mantis. Praying mantises also eat bugs that are harmful to plants. They can also eat spiders, lizards, frogs, and small birds. Praying mantises can turn their head 180 degrees. That's half a circle. Humans can only turn their head 90 degrees. Praying mantises get their name because they are often seen holding their front legs together. Many people think it looks like they're praying. They are great at camouflage, adapting the colors that help them blend in with plants. Seven, ants. Like bees, ants live in colonies and serve a queen ant. Ants live in an ant hill made by worker ants. This looks like a small hill above ground but underground, there are many complicated tunnels. The worker ants also gather food to bring back to the queen and the colony. They can also act as soldiers if their colony is being threatened. Average ant colonies have around 5,000 ants. There are super colonies, which can contain millions of ants. Ants can lift up to 20 times their body weight. That's like a human lifting a car. Eight, firefly. Fireflies are actually not a fly, but a beetle. Fireflies are often identified at night by their ability to glow. All fireflies glow, even the eggs glow. Fireflies blink their glowing abdomens at each other to attract mates. They may also glow to alert potential predators that they taste bad. Fireflies glow by a chemical reaction produced inside them. Their light is very efficient. 
In fact, their natural glowing light is about 10 times more efficient than a common light bulb. Nine, cricket. Crickets can often be heard at nighttime. Only male crickets chirp in hopes of attracting a female mate. Crickets chirp by rubbing their wings together. The intensity of their chirps is determined by the temperature. The warmer it is, the louder they chirp. If it's too cold, the crickets won't chirp at all to conserve energy. Crickets are omnivores, which means they will eat almost anything. You might think crickets are the same as grasshoppers, but crickets have long antenna, while grasshoppers have short antenna. Also, grasshoppers sing by rubbing their legs together instead of their wings. Crickets are considered good luck in Japan and China. 10. Mosquito Mosquitoes are related to flies. While it's annoying to have a fly in your house, a female mosquito in your house may try to suck your blood, leaving you with a very itchy bump. Only female mosquitoes crave blood. Male mosquitoes only siphon nectar juices from plants. While it's referred to as a mosquito bite, mosquitoes don't bite. Instead, their mouth is shaped like a long upside down funnel with a narrow pointed end that pierces their victim so they can sip out their liquid. Yuck! Mosquitoes flap their wings a thousand times per second, creating a very distinctive buzzing sound. Mosquitoes like to be near water, so to keep mosquitoes from coming around your house, put that kitty pool away when you're done using it. Those are 10 insects that might be living in your backyard. Have you seen them crawling around your neighborhood? Do you like bugs? Do they give you the creeps? Let us know in the comment section below.